I'm excited to share with you all um, in tonight's class a new um, a new regulation that I found. I had just so happened to be looking for something else um, for a potential well for one of my um, mentees, and um, I stumbled upon this regulation that I felt that you guys would definitely benefit from. So I just wanted to hop on real quick and to um, just share what I found. So in the FAR, there is some language that states, hold on, I'm looking for it. <clears throat> in the FAR, in FAR 52.204-7, and first let me just go back. So um, if you guys are not aware, we should all be using the FAR as like our quote unquote um, Bible for government contracting because it tells us what we should and should not be doing um, as government contractors, particularly small businesses how we, what we're um, accountable for, as well as, you know, what rights, um, for lack of a better words, that we have as well as small businesses. And so um, the FAR stands for Federal Acquisition Regulation, and it is a set of um, regulatory um, rules um, that have been set, establish for procurement opportunity and acquisition processes with the government. And so it is regulated by the General Accountability Office. I think that's what it's, I think that's what it stands for. The General Accountability, the GAO, um, as well as there's one other um, or two other rather. It's the Secretary of Defense, um, Administrative General Services, as well as um, the GAO regulates it. So now we know the FAR is a set of rules that governs how the government purchases things, services, and supplies you know that it is truly important that you understand how they are going to purchase things. It addresses things as such as the Prompt Payment Act, which applies to us as a small business, which states that within seven to 14 days, the government has to um, complete payment once they've received a approved um, invoice that has been certified by the agency. So that being said, the FAR 52.204-7 states with its altern alternate I, if this clause or provision is contained inside of the solicitation or your contract, that means that um, and you're not able to register prior to award, it states that they will give you as the contractor 30 days after award or before three days prior to submission of the first invoice, whichever occurs first, to get registered in SAM. And when I saw that, I just thought, well, wow, that's so amazing because this whole time, um, we've been pushing, get registered in SAM, get registered in SAM. And obviously you will eventually be registered in SAM, but there are, this is another way for you to still, while you're getting registered in SAM, also start bidding. You know, this is another way that eliminates sort of a barrier that prohibits you or that we feel like stops us from being able to go and, and bid. You can bid as long as that provision is in that solicitation 
while you're waiting to be registered in SAM which I've looked at quite a few solicitations and I've seen that provision before, but never really paid attention to it because, you know, I've always been registered in SAM. So I never really thought to really delve into that particular provision. However, now that we know guys, we really don't have any reason why we should not be out here bidding and winning contracts because they are even, they are literally, providing a way for us to still be able to participate while we're still going through that process. So that's all I really wanted to share with you guys. Um, I thought that that was a really good um, tip um, for us to just have while we're on our journey. Remember, I'm doing this with you guys, so I'm learning as well. I you know, may be ahead of most of you but again, I'm always in a posture of learning new things because I truly believe that you, as a leader, you should always be coachable and you should always be a lead, leader student where you're always learning because you can only take the people that are connected to you as far as you're, you are. And so um, I, I, I would... I don't, I wouldn't say I enjoy reading the FAR, but I kind of like it um, because I believe that knowledge can be powerful when it's applied. And so, yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys have a good night um, or good afternoon or good morning whenever you're watching this. Let me know in the comments below if you found this to be a helpful tip. Also, let me know if you have already registered in SAM or if you haven't registered in SAM, let me know in the comments. If you guys have any questions, as always, you can reach out to me at jessica at the small business And um, if you guys are interested in or you need full further support in regards to mentoring, let me know as well. I do have some links in the bio that you can sign up for. Um, I have a um, discovery call that you can sign up for that um, you know we can meet and talk and discuss your business needs. So just know that I'm here. Okay, guys, I will see you next time. Bye.